to part two of thrifting in Bangkok, Thailand. Last episode, we checked out two Japanese thrift stores and picked up over $900 in value. But we're still waiting on that very first sale and we have zero profit so far. The goal is to earn $2,000 in profit so we can attend a reseller conference that's held in the UK. But there is a small hiccup with two of the games we bought last time. Please stop playing this disc immediately. There's some rings around the edges. We'll try to get that fixed later in the video, but for now, let's thrift. I forgot to record an intro before walking in, so I guess this, this is just gonna have to do for now. I'm outside the Soraka Japanese secondhand store. Hopefully I can find some good stuff. I'm on a time crunch today. Only got about an hour. Everybody's got to check in their bag when they first walk in so nothing disappears. Stop stealing and stealing everything out of here. What this? Uh huh. Yeah, it's pretty big all the way down there and um, all the way down here. So, hopefully, we can find some stuff. This stuff is pretty organized. Pretty organized. Yeah, a lot of cool toys. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is uh, some type of Pokemon. Look, huh? it's Jirachi! Rough condition. Oh, batteries, mm -hmm. takes batteries, and it, and it moves. It's from 2003. Yeah, Nintendo Pokemon 2003. So it is vintage. This could be cleaned up. But this stain on the back, I don't know. This can come off stained pretty badly. So the comps on this is looking pretty good. I don't see any solds. They're asking like $90, $95 plus shipping, but no solds. Well, I wanna see if this is corroded or not. Let me find this. See if this is clean. Oh, uh, no corrosion. I might test this too if they've got uh, if they got the right batteries. I might go ahead and test this. All right. I thought this looked pretty cool, and when I was looking this up, I couldn't remember the name of this thing. But the official name is a clacker. A lot of times, this gets mixed in with this thing here. Fun fact, the clacker was banned in the U.S. because of injuries. I did end up buying this. Who knows what I can resell this for. If you played with this or this as a kid, let me know in the comments below. An issue I'm gonna have over here is basically this stuff is a reject pile from Japan. A lot of older vintage stuff, which means it's gonna have a lower demand, so the sell through rate will be a lot slower. I need to be very careful about what I buy so I don't end up getting stuck with these items. Sony disc, 1.3 gigs. The sealed. There's two of them. Maybe I can get, I mean the comps are a little, little low. It's a lot of competition for these listed, so maybe 15 to 20 each i'll put these in the cart for now someone's family photos ended up here look like they had a good time All right, getting ready to pay. Hopefully we don't get charged too much for this stuff. It's already cut. Um, can I, do you have batteries? It ended up not working, but I was thinking maybe I could try and repair it when I get home. Maybe the wiring is just loose or damaged or Maybe it just needs cleaning. Something simple, I was hoping. I will show you what happened at the end of this video with the repair. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Uh, 
200 baht. Okay. Oh. All right, I'm here at the Mega Plaza. Hopefully we can get these games fixed. Saudi, um, uh, do you repair a uh... to some penny? Some. Oh, I know. I know. No service. No no repair. Okay. Okay. No. 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 Can you repair this? Yeah. Repair this. Uh -oh. this with this. Sega. Sega. You see the line? Yep. Will this work or no? What? It work? Yep. This this will work? Yep. It's okay? Yes. But it's okay, it'll work, I think. This one. This one. First step, go to Mr. DIY. It's been a couple of days and I'm taking a look at this Jirachi toy. I'll show you where I am. I took this apart. So I was looking at the wiring at the bottom. The wiring looks good all the way up. So I guess the next step is taking apart the head and see what's going on up here. There's more wiring that I can't see. A few minutes later. Update, so I put this back together and I've been messing around with it. In order to get this to work, all you gotta do is tap the top. That's it. So here we go. Ah, let's go, let's go, let's go. I spent $5.50 on this stuff, and I'm looking at a total estimated market value of about $140. Of about and that's okay, because I can't go out and find bangers every single time. I will be traveling to another country. It is my birthday, and of course, there will be more thrifting in the next video. And for my birthday, all I want for you to do is to watch the next video.